Grok 3 is super powerful. Using that, you can create powerful agents. You can see Grok 3 better than DeepSeek R1, Gemini 2.0 Flash, O1, O1 Mini on various benchmarks. And we have Grok available in X.com. So in this, we are going to create AI agents by using Deep Search and without me coding. All the code will be generated by Grok. We are going to generate the code, deploy the code in Replit that is actually publishing a customer support AI agent on a web page like this. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. You need premium or premium plus account to access Grok right now. But the good news is that the recent update that is now available for free for any users, the most powerful model in anyone's hand. With that, we get deep search, that is internet search ability to AI agents and thinking ability. We are going to build AI agents in minutes and deploy in minutes. I'm going to take you through step by step. So go to grok.com or x.com and access grok. There I'm entering this query, create a customer support agents with internet search facility using praise and AI agents and I am providing the documentation page and I'm clicking deep search. Now clicking send, now it's thinking through the process. I really like this because it goes through every single URL which is relevant and it's going through step by step, automatically analyzing every page, summarizing it, understanding how to code. Here is a list step by step, clarifying the request, defining agent setup, finalizing agent configuration. So here you can see it searched more than 10 pages and the whole process is now completed. So I really like this user interface to understand the process and progress. And I got the explanation here and the code. So I'm just going to copy the code. I'm going to say, give me the full code with all the required tools. As I can see here, it's a partial code. I'm just saying, give me full code in one code block just to make it clear. So here is the code, customer support agent. So copying the code, I'm going to repelit.com, create app from template Python, making it public and creating the app. Here in this main.py file, I'm just pasting that code. To the assistant here, I'm going to say, add the required requirements.txt file and it's adding that file. So here you can go to shell, clicking plus, going to shell to directly access the app, clicking on that. Here you can export your API key. You can also use Grok API key. But for now, I'm going to use OpenAI API key. I'm exporting that like this. Now just typing python main.py. So that's what's here and clicking enter. Now I can see an error. Sometimes it's more obvious that at this initial stage, you might get some error. So just copying the error like this, going back to Grok using deep search and entering the error message. It found the error. So we need to assign an agent to the task. So copying the fixed code, pasting that here in replit agents and clicking control S to save it. Next, you can go back to shell and run the same code again, python main.py. And you can see it's working perfectly fine. That is brilliant. So the initial question is what is the current version of Windows? So we are asking that question to the customer support agent and it searches the internet as you can see here and gives this answer. The current version of Windows as of October 2023 is Windows 11. That is based on the internet search. But when we provide the current year, it can even get information which is based on the current air. Next, we need to convert this and deploy this as an application with a small front end and with API endpoint. So how can we do this? So even in this Replit chatbot, I can ask, create a Flask application with this code at main.py and make it deployable using Replit. It should have a basic front end and API endpoints to access. And click enter. Now it started creating those endpoint and front end creating the templates required and now everything's ready. I'm just clicking apply and the Flask application with front end API endpoints is ready. And here is the customer support agent directly published for preview inside Replit agents. So I can even ask a question. Latest version of Windows in 2025, Feb, ask question. Now it's processing the request. The agent is now going to take the question, search the internet and give us the answer. I can see there's an object object response. So I can even let the chatbot know or the assistant know that this is the response I get. To make it understand further, I can even take a screenshot. Now I took a screenshot 
and then add that screenshot here. Now I can just say fix this. Now it's seeing the page and trying to fix this error. Now it's all fixed. Let me try this again. Windows version as of 2025 Feb. It's processing. I took a screenshot again and just saying need only the response from the agent. So here you can click new tab and go to secrets, then add the API key and save it. Now let's click run. Now you can see the response here. The latest version of Windows is this. That is brilliant. Now similarly, you can create customer support agent for your own company. Even to deploy this, it's simple process. At the top, there is a deploy option here. Click on deploy, then choosing a deployment option. Set up your deployment, giving a name for your deployment. You already gave OpenAI API key, then click deploy. Now it's all done. Even in the console, you should be able to see all the message received. That is the task, that is the response. That's what we saw in the front end, as you can see here. It also consists of API endpoint, which means you can integrate this with any of your application. That is brilliant. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like creating AI agents with Replit, I also created another video which clearly explains about Replit AI agents, which I highly recommend for you to watch. And I will see you there.